hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm looking crazy looking real real crusty <laughs> so you must know what that means we about to bleach this hair but today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are going to be using some different products we're going to be using the blonde solutions bleach so yeah i'm excited because typically i just use stuff that you can get from the beauty supply store and this stuff is like that grade a okay real professional style also today's a little bit different because i'm going to be showing you guys how i cut my hair i'm no professional i'm no barber or nothing like that but this is just my routine and this is just how i do it um so let's go ahead and get into it i start by just picking out my hair because I'm about to cut all this blonde off. So when I'm brushing this out or combing this out, I'm being very gentle because I don't want to scratch my scalp. All right, so once I get the hair all combed out, I want to see how much new growth I have so that I know how far or like how much hair to cut off. All right, so this is how much new growth I have. Can you see? which honestly is a good amount for one month of growth. So I don't know, like I said, I'm no professional. So I'm just winging it here and I don't really know how low I need to cut my hair. So I'm gonna start off with a number four guard. It literally just says four right here. Let me show you. I just put it on the clipper and let's cut some hair. I guess I'll start off with the foreguard and then decide if I wanna cut any more hair. Honestly, it looks like I'm gonna need to. Well, I'll start off with the four. So I wanna save as much black hair as possible. So I try not to cut it too low. I'm gonna switch this to the shorter setting and see what this does. I think I'm gonna go a little lower. So I'm gonna switch off the four guard for a three guard. I don't know how long these are, but this is what the three guard says. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm cool with three. Cause I definitely know I don't wanna do two. Look at all this hair coming off. And I just take it all down to the same length. And that's pretty much all I do. So the three is like having a hard time going through this thick hair. So I'm gonna switch back to the four just so I can knock down the length of the hair a little quicker and then I'm gonna go back over it with the three. Because chow, that three is not making its way through my hair. <laughs> go ahead and put on the number three guard so that I can actually get it to the length that I want it. So that is the haircut. 
So the reason I do the haircut first is because I know I'm gonna want it shorter. Um, so I just go ahead and cut it off anyway. And sometimes if you, first of all, that was a lot of hair that I had on my head. And if I would have bleached it again, it would have just fell off. So I would have wasted my bleach and the hair would have been in the sink. So I just cut it first because I know this hair is either gonna fall off or I'm gonna end up cutting it when I'm done. Um, that's my process. Like I said, I'm no professional. This is just how I do it. Um, but yeah, that is a little haircut and I'm going to come back and show you guys how I actually bleach the hair. So as you guys know, as you guys see by the title, we are going to be using a different bleach today. Thank you so much to Blonde Solutions for sending your girl these products and allowing me to try a different type of bleach. So I'm excited. They sent over the Blonde Solutions 20 volume developer. They also sent over their liquid toner in chrome. And of course they sent over their pigmented lightener in the shade violet. All right, y'all. So we are about to go ahead and mix up this bleach and I'm actually kind of nervous because I don't even know. I'm just nervous. <laughs> So I'm gonna do two scoops to start with. Actually, I'm gonna do three. So do I wanna pour this directly in here? I think so, cause Honestly, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going <laughs> to do it the way I would typically do it. This stuff is thick. Ooh, I hope I have a big enough bowl, girl. I may have been a little too overzealous. And it says to mix it for three to four minutes. It definitely smells like bleach. I honestly thought it was going to smell nice. I don't know why. I've literally never seen bleach this color before. Okay. Y'all, I done forgot I was recording trying to mix up this stuff. It is very, very thick. Um, let's go ahead and apply this. <laughs> Alright, so before I start applying this bleach, y'all know I gotta take my aquaphor and protect these edges in this skin. I have been scratching my hair a little bit, so I'm really hoping that this does not burn. Because girl, I've been scratching, I ain't even gonna lie. So this is what the bleach looks like. Okay, gloves going on. Let's go for it. I don't know if it's just because I ain't bleached my hair in a while, but it's strong. Like the smell is strong, girl. Lord, it's strong. So strong, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, y'all know the drill. I'm gonna take my hand and really make sure I'm getting it in there. It is very creamy, I will say. 
It's burning though. I'm gonna be real with you. Look how much bleach I still had left over. I don't know how much hair I thought I had on my head, but. <laughs> okay, so I think this is good all over. So it's all covered. I'm gonna leave this to sit for two hours. That's what they recommend. They said they have a two hour process in time. So that's what we're gonna do. If you're wondering why I'm squinting, it's cause this stuff is very strong. It's 427, I guess we're gonna leave this till about 627. <laughs> Y'all know how I do with my Kroger bag. Glasses over the bag. All right, I'll see y'all in two hours. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it is now 6.16. So I'm a little early, but I'm just curious to see what my hair is looking like. So I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, but this bleach is supposed to bleach and tone at the same time. And I have a feeling that it actually did do that. So I think I'm gonna let this sit for like another maybe 45 minutes just out of curiosity because my hair actually was not very yellow. So we about to see. All right guys, so it is 6.55 now. Let's go ahead and see what the hair is looking like. I'm excited because it was looking kind of promising. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out and whatever color we get is what we got because yeah. <laughs> Um, and when I wash it out, I'm not going to use any shampoo or anything. I'm literally just going to use water. So we just rinsed it out. Let's see what it's looking like. Wow. Wow. I think I'm impressed. Wow. This is one process, y'all. You're kidding me. This is one process. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I don't know if you guys can tell. Now, like I said, this is one process and I'm very, very impressed with this first process. But the hair has like a, a, like a low key pinkish undertone. I'm not sure if you guys. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, so this is the color that I got with my first round of bleach. Remember I told you I kind of had like a pinkish undertone? I want to cancel that out. Not really cancel that out, but I want to bleach it again so that my hair is more on the white side. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a second round of bleach. I already have it mixed up here. Um, I use the same developer the same bleach, the same everything. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do different is put a dollop of coconut oil in my hair. Um, yeah, I wish I had two gloves on, but I don't. <laughs> um, I've already like based my hairline so that I don't get any burns or I can try to avoid any uh, burns. Okay, it's burning. My eyes, my everything. Um, we gonna let this sit. It is 2.57, so I guess I'll let this sit for an hour. We gonna come back, wash it out, and we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, so it is 4.03. <sighs> we about to wash this out, and whatever color we get is what we gonna get, okay? All right, guys, so this is the color that we're working with, nice and white. All right guys, so we are back and I let my hair dry completely and this is what we're working with. And honestly, I'm cool with this color, but 
since they sent over the toner, we're gonna try to use their toner. I'm a little scared because it's literally black. Let me show you. Literally black. It smells like bubble gum. So let me read the instructions. Now I did talk to the owners of Blonde Solutions and they said that you can dilute the toner and technically the toner is a mask. It says Blonde Solutions Liquid Toner is a toning mask developed with cocoa butter, da -da -da -da. Um, reconstructs and neutralizes unwanted hair tone suitable for white or bleached hair. So with that being said, I am too afraid to put black toner on my hair. So I think I'm gonna dilute it with a little bit of water and a little bit of conditioner. You don't need any um, developer or anything. So I have some white shampoo, I mean conditioner, and I'm gonna do about this much conditioner. Oh shit. Why did I think that was gonna work? I done spill water everywhere, but I did that much water, right? Okay, so this is what the water and conditioner look like mixed together. I think I'm only gonna take about this much, actually maybe a little bit more, about that much of the toner, because I don't want my hair to turn too gray. I'm cool with like a silver vibe, but I don't want it to be gray. Okay, so this is what the toner looks like. It's like a grayish, blackish, purplish color, right? All right, I'm going for it. So, I'm hoping that this turns my hair like a light silverish color. I'll be cool with that. Right, so that's the toner we're gonna let this sit for five minutes wash it out and come back so we can style all right y'all so this is what my hair color turned out first of all my hair has honestly never been this white this is the whitest I've ever seen my hair I'm dead serious y'all I am pleasantly surprised. I am impressed and I'm satisfied. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you how I style my hair. I'm just gonna find where I wanna put my part. Take a little dollop, right? So you really don't need too much because the hair is already very, very um, manageable because it's bleached so bright. So first of all, my hair is so white. Oh my God, I'm sick. Um. Like it's laying already and I barely did anything to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this really, really soft brush. Let me bring my mirror a little closer. And I'm using a soft brush because my scalp is so tender because we just bleached our hair for like four hours. And the hair is so bright and so thin. So it's best to use a really really thin brush um a really really soft brush just to keep everything um from being scraped and sore and honestly sometimes i use the side of the brush i don't even use the actual brush part i use the side 
I'm sure a baby brush would work really, really good for this step too. So I'm just brushing the hair in the direction that I want it to go. All right, so I just take my comb and do some little designs. Because my hair is so fresh, you pretty much can do anything to it and it'll look really good. And it's gonna lay really nice too because the hair is so fresh. Man, I swear I love a fresh color. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit more gel to the front just so I can move the hair around a little bit more. finger to just kind of follow the comb and it helps to lay the hairs down where I want them I'm just kind of there we go and that is how I style my hair last step is to put on our do-rag so me personally I like to make sure the seam of the do-rag is facing towards the ceiling and I like to line the seam up with my part and make sure my sideburns are also covered because I'm going to be sleeping in this style tonight. And then I like to make sure that my durag flaps are open and wide and I just bring it on around. Y'all, if my elbows are ashy, mind your business. And that's how we do that. Perfect. And I just pull the do-rag tight. Not too tight though, because like I said, we have to sleep in this. Here we go. That's how I style my hair. Alrighty guys, so this is what my finished hair looks like. I honestly have never seen my hair this white. I'm gonna be so real with you. Like this is icy, there's no brass. There's like, obviously I got a little bit of makeup in my hairline, but there's no brass, there's no yellow, there's no orange, like my hair is just icy white. Like what you see on the camera is literally what it looks like in person, super icy. Like super even all around. Um, if I had to rate this bleach, honestly, I would say maybe an 8 out of 10, only because it burned so bad, more than I'm used to. Um, but girl, the hair looks amazing. Shout out to Blonde Solutions for sending me these dope ass products. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. I will see y'all in the next video. Stay bald, stay blonde. That was so corny, but whatever. See y'all later.